Okay, just got a new toy uh, from the earlier review. I had an external USB 2.0 video device, which didn't work too well. Great for web browsing, bad for video. So on sale, I think it was on uh, fatwallet.com. I purchased this IO Mag, IO Gear. Uh, add a easy second HDMI display to your TV USB external is supposed to be able to play up to 1600 by 1200 or 1920 times 1080 in 32 bit color and it's supposed to be display link certified HDMI cable so from the back of it pretty easy it says just plug in the USB and I can add a monitor or a TV package content it says one USB HD adapter uh, there's USB cable quick start guy warranty driver CD obviously PC uh, let's see does it work for Mac nope it says let's see all flat panel LCD panels TV displays TV or audio system with HDMI does not work with CRT I didn't know if there's any CRT with uh, HDMI anyway so let's take a look. Okay, open the device. It's pretty slim. Uh, let's see. There is a USB jack, external power, and another side uh, HDMI. Funny, USB cable, no power cable. So I guess you don't need it really. So you can buy it. Extra has a accessory. I don't know why. Perhaps it won't work. I don't know. Here's a CD. Stop. Don't return me if you don't get a working call. And this is a quick user guide. Okay, what they said. Basically, it says install software before connecting and then connects to it. It will install the driver. Uh, there's apparently soft, up, soft update. You can rotate a screen, extend the left, right, up and down, whatever. You can uh, set the laptop monitor on and off. Well, as you can see, I have two screens and the laptop. I'm not even using my third screen on my laptop. I got two similar screen uh, Dell monitor, 20 inch each. So that's good enough for me. And I'm going to hook up to my HDTV. Okay, so the plugging the CD ROM out of place. Let's run setup. Can I hear my laptop running? Yes. Uh, it's using Windows 7. I'm using Windows 7, just in case everyone will know. Okay, Sell up screen starts. Okay, while the thing is setting up, let me just, I plug in the HDMI cable into the back of my TV, and now I'm just plugging into the device. And then to my computer, I have a USB 2.0 hub here. It's only a USB 2.0 device, so there's no sense of plugging into a USB 3.0 port. Let me see. Okay, plugging fine. The cable is long enough to extend, so I'm just going to leave it right here to the hub. Yes, it's my cable management area. You are going to connect to this USB cable, which is connected to this USB 3.0. Okay, so it's uh, configuring. It's about two minutes. It's going to configure the software. It says screen might temporarily go black, as you can see. Yes, flickers. Okay, it's still installing. Now, once it's finished install, I'm going to try to run the update. Just like the other USB 2.0 uh, video device, once the update is applied, the performance usually gets better. Now, I don't think it's my computer's speed because it's a quad core AMD machine. Uh, let's see. As you can see right here, with uh, 16 gigs of RAM running Windows 7. So it's only running about 65 to 35 to 65% load. And I'm running internet. Uh, I'm, I'm listening to uh, music from YouTube and HD. So yeah, that might slow the system down just a bit. 
Five minutes, nothing happens. I wonder if it's just solving stop. So what I'm gonna do is actually even to try to connect the cable and see if anything happens. So I'm gonna go collect the cable and my TV and see if anything happens. Okay, let's see. USB and. Nothing happens still. Oh wait, it says installing drivers. Right there, there. Okay, it says device has been successfully. Let me turn off the YouTube. Uh, let's see what yes thanks. Installing device driver again. Let me turn on my TV actually, that might help. Okay, this little screw is moving. That means it's trying to install more device drivers. What's this on TV right now? Wait, walking dead? Screen is flickering. Ah, oh, something is in the background. It says new display found USB to HDMI. In fact, I do see my TV showing up. Okay, I accept. Prepare to install more software. But in the meantime, as it installs again, uh, as you can see, my HDTV actually shows it's. The resolution is actually 1080 by, uh, no, is it 1080? Let me see. What's, let me see the setting I have it on right now. It's by uh, 1920 by 1080. Okay. Let's see. It says what? Should be closed before continuing install. Uh, so it doesn't agree with my Lenovo energy management. Okay. Let's close that. Installing more software. I guess it's not kidding when it says it's a flick the scrape my fl flickering in and out. It has been doing that, but now, as you can see, it's measured one screen, two screen, and three screen. Third screen is at 1920 by 1080, which is uh, 1080p. Actually, my monitor is 1080p, so. It's ready for that. It's on all the way on my left. Uh, second down, first down. All right, so I have three monitors set up. Let me see. Click OK. Oh, do you see this little icon? That's the USB to HDMI. So first thing I'm gonna do, as I said, I'm gonna check updates. And again, nothing happens. I guess these really don't think it's my computer so I guess it's just how software no updates for display link software available so I guess I'm good to go let's just look over uh, the setting USB to HDMI is currently set to extend it that's how I want it screen resolution 1920 by 1080 rotation normal set has main monitor no notebook monitor off it's off mirror nah optimized for video uh, i'll probably do that later but the color of my tv is actually pretty good actually uh sing 
wallpaper thing all your cell let's see where it says right now I'm set to the speakers has the default void let's see what else mm, video setup oh, that just takes back here uh, since there is no update let's just I guess play some videos guys that's fine that's the main manager that's fine so the so the heaven slowed down the performance on my main monitor let's see a second monitor okay let's transfer it to the third monitor Okay, good. There is no slowdown on the video. It's a uh, RM video file. It's about 200 megabytes. So it's playing fine. And the audio is still coming from the speaker set, like I have said it. Now, this is the AVI file, about 1 gig. And the text on the screen is clear. Looks fine. No slowdown, no lag. Okay, now it's showing the HDTV. As you can see, again, there's no artifacts in the screen. Sound comes off fine. Video is smooth. And the device itself, this cable is connected, the light is blinking, that means there's activity, very simple connection, USB to USB 2.0, I really don't think connecting directly to a USB 3.0 port on my laptop will increase the speed at all, so I'm just going to leave it like this, uh, I have a first monitor connected to a VGA, and the second monitor connecting to the HDMI port. So in Siri, now I can have up to four videos now. I haven't started playing video games on my main screen, which I will try later and see if there is any slowdown in the system. And just when I thought everything's okay, tried to play a game, Star Wars Knights of Republic, gave me a blue screen of death, Windows 7. Eh? Don't see that too often. So I just decided to restart the computer. Because again, I don't use my monitor. Try to keep my laptop in the best shape possible. Cooling the thing in the bag. AMD. It's a, I think, what, what CPU does it have? It? It's an APU, like A10 4660M with uh, something like 7660M graphic. That's why I can play my games, usually a medium output. Or maybe I should do a video on that too mm, later. Let's see, window just starting. Uh, I got one monitor, two monitor, laptop monitor, automatically on. Let's see, TV monitor still says no signal. It's probably just loading because the software hasn't loaded in the back. Let's see if it will automatically load when the system starts. and see what happens just restart the computer again uh, with the display external display disconnected let's see if the computer come up normally if not I'm gonna go into safe mode and disable okay so and yes I know the video card didn't fry okay let's see start windows normally starting our windows Windows is loading to desktop, is loading software in the back, 
uh, hasn't reached the air uh, the point of that crash let's see gadgets is coming up weather gadget nope wait something is going dark See, I already disconnected. Oh, it restarts. So it just gave another failure. Okay. Uh, let's just go into safe mode. Okay, apparently in safe mode, the system is so far working. Just close that. Actually, all I want to do is restart the computer. Shut down. And I can do not use the notebook screen just in case that's a problem. So turning that off. Okay, let's turn the computer back on normally again. Okay, system is booting. Okay, after the restart, uh, the system blew up correctly. Well, hopefully not another blue screen later. I think it was because I was trying to play uh, Star Wars, the video game. It overloaded the system. Uh, let's see, monitor still works. Uh, I'm watching 720p HD. There are some fluctuations. Mm, not the best of quality, but certainly watchable especially I'm like three foot behind okay again the control is here I uh, can s change settings or changing a uh, rotation uh, I think the link does support audio so if you want you can use the TV's audio but my TV audio stunk so I won't do that I still use my regular under the Dell monitor or use my Bluetooth speaker by the TV. That should work. So for 19 bucks, I think is a good deal.